Mohamed Jumaz Ekriere is a refugee from Sudan. He fled the war in Darfur to neighbouring Chad when he was about five years old. Educated in a refugee camp, his academic abilities meant he was granted a scholarship to attend college in Chad's capital, Jemena. Back then, he thought he had a bright future. Now, Ekriere feels his hopes of a better life have been dashed. Yeah, exactly. If you are a refugee student and you graduated from universities, it is so difficult to get the job here. I don't want to lose my ambitions. Refugees in Chad do not have the right to work. Despite being among the country's brightest, Ekriere is confined to a life of continued academia, as he sees it, and is now a research student, receiving barely enough pay to live. In the Gaga refugee camp where Ekriere lived his early life, refugees who have been here for nearly 20 years prepare food to feed refugees displaced days earlier by Sudan's new conflict. One new arrival to Gaga told VOA, I came yesterday here from Darfur. I want to return to my country one day, but now it's not feasible because of the war. Yet she too is likely to end up a refugee living for many years in Chad. While the media tends to focus on refugees displaced by new crises, the UN says most refugees globally live outside their home countries for more than five years. Experts say efforts to find durable solutions to this situation are being stepped up in some countries. The Kenyan government announced in May it will give its Dadaab refugee camp, which has existed for more than 30 years and is now home to around 300,000 people, municipality status, allowing refugees some rights to work. Kenya is a very interesting case because I think the huge Dadaab camp that they have is one of the most notorious on, on earth or has been. And the Kenyan government has been pretty innovative in trying to find different solutions. They already started trying this years ago um, in Kalobei. They started to set up what they call the settlement approach. So it's um, the idea not to create a camp, but in a way to create a city. Experts say despite the evidence that allowing refugees to work benefits the economy of host countries, they are slow to give refugees access to the economy for political reasons. But, but in reality, um, we often see that, I would argue, for populist political reasons, um, yeah, you still see, see these divisions being kept up. Um, and you still see sort of that yeah, yeah, foreign populations, migrant populations, and particularly um, refugees, um, you know, are seen as threats for public security, are seen as a burden for the eco economy. As for Ecriere, like so many refugees, he feels his life is about little more than surviving, not living. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Jemena, Chad.